Hi Scorpio, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Let's get you some messages today. Let's see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides want to tell you. Before I do that though, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? All right, Scorpio. Let's see. Ten of Wands. Four of Pentacles. The Moon. Nine of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Vito, what are you doing? What are you doing, Pop? Vito came to say hi. Can you hear his pitter-patter? What's up, mommies? Huh? What's up? Hi, sweetheart. All right. Um, all right, Scorpio. Let's see here. So I'm feeling like, Scorpio, you, you, you have a lot of burdens on your shoulders right now, but I kind of feel like you, you did it to yourself. And there is something that you are not letting go of. Like you're holding on to that like with an iron fist. And I'm like, Scorpio, you got to let it go. So I feel like you took, you took on a lot of bur burdens that you didn't have to take on. But there's some like anger or bitterness here that you did it. Or that you had to do it. I don't know what this is. I, I, I don't know, but there's something you got to just kind of let go of and move on from it. The moon's here saying that you don't, you might not know what to do. You might not know how to move on or how to release some of these burdens. Because I do feel like you have a lot on your plate. I feel like you're juggling a lot. And I feel like there is a way to get out of it, but you're just... Uh, you're choosing not to. You're not. You're choosing not to see clearly for some reason. But Scorpio, you're the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's so capable of great things. You're capable of great things. So why are you taking on all these burdens? A, you know how to fix your problem. You're just not doing it. You are just really confused right now. And I don't know why. Like, I think you, I kind of feel like you're confused at how, like, you're kind of like, how'd I get here? Like, how'd this happen? Well, I'll tell you how it happened. You, you took it on. You did it. You made some decisions that maybe you shouldn't have. And I don't necessarily, like, you're not, I don't think you're stuck. I don't think you're stuck. I feel like you're just holding on. And by holding on, it's causing you to have more burdens. I don't know, Scorpio. I kind of want to say, like, you know, like, let's stop for a moment. Put some of these burdens down. Let's walk away. So let, let's let some of it go. But yeah, I don't think you know how to do that. I don't know. This is just a weird reading. Let's get some more cards. Three cups. Ace of cups. Wheel of fortune. Seven of cups. All right, Scorpio, look. I think that you can put these burdens down and I think you might figure it out. I think you might figure it out because look, you're going to have a reason to celebrate. You have new love coming in for you. All right. That new love doesn't necessarily have to be a person, but I kind of feel like it might be. Um, and I feel like luck is on your side right now. Scorpio, are you juggling two people? You could be juggling two. <laughs> Um, that's a lot to carry for anybody. I don't know why anybody would want to do that. 
you're going to have to choose and you're going to have to choose wisely. You're going to have to make the right decision here. I kind of feel like you, you took on, you're, you're, you have to choose between two people. I think once you choose, though, I think things are just going to blossom for you. I think things are going to be amazing for you. Um, but you're scared to make a decision. You don't know what to do here. Scorpio. There's somebody you got to let go of. If, if it feels like that. I don't know, Scorpio, but. Let's get more cards. Maybe we have some better idea. We'll have some better idea of what to do here for you. <laughs> Soul healing. Align with your essence. See your true colors. So, Scorpio, you feel in your heart. Your heart tells you what you should do. Your heart's going to tell you who you should be with. Your heart's going to be aligned with this person. You, you got to feel your way through this one, Scorpio. Um, this is more about feeling than it is about logic. All right, take money out of the equation. What is your heart telling you? I think you need to follow your heart. Because you know what? The money, that works itself out. It does. I think if you're going to put too much emphasis on it, it that's what causes like the blockages and the, and the mess ups. Just follow your heart. Tune out the distractions. Okay, that, that's what I said. You know, tune out everything else. What would make your heart really, really happy? And Scorpio, I can tell you because you're a passionate, you're a passionate group here. Um, feeling loved, feeling loved unconditionally is what's going to make you happy. So, who makes you feel loved? Who's going to make you feel loved? Who doesn't make you feel loved right now? Scorpio, for some of you, I think somebody's cheating. I'm just saying it. I don't know why I got it, but I kind of feel like somebody might be cheating on you. Some, you might not know this. So if you're in a relationship, I'd uh, watch for some signs. I, I'm getting the feeling that somebody's cheating on you. I'm not necessarily feeling like you're cheating on them. You could be. But if I feel like somebody's cheating on you and you don't have a clue. But I kind of feel like your heart's with somebody. Your heart might be with somebody else, and your your logic, your 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 brain is with somebody else. Like I feel like you have two. This is so strange because I feel like you have two people, but I feel like your person has two people too. <laughs> I don't know, Scorpio. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> that moon is getting to me now. Let's see what else comes out. Well, Scorpio, you're going to choose happiness. So that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. You're going to end up happy. The dream thief. Refusal of the call. Uh, see, this is you not making that decision. 
This is you knowing what you should do, but you're not doing it because you can't let go. You can't let go. Scorpio, don't be a fool. Don't let somebody steal your dream. If you want love and you want happiness, then don't let anything stand in your way. Tune out everybody else and all the other distractions. Just go for the love. Everything else will work itself out. Because when you're in love like this, the way I feel like you want to be, that raises your vibration and that attracts good stuff to you. So that attracts solutions to problems. So you're going to be okay. Well, but you have to choose. Look at this. You must choose. Pick your path, Scorpio. You don't want somebody to pick it for you. Believe me. Trust me on that one. <laughs> Pay attention to the red flags, Scorpio. I really, I'm sorry. I'm getting the feeling somebody's like playing your game. I, I hate to say that, Scorpio, but I kind of feel like somebody's playing you the way that you might have played somebody else. I don't know, Scorpio. <laughs> Pay attention to the red flag, Scorpio. Open your eyes because I think somebody's cheating on you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that. I don't like I don't like giving that kind of news, but I'm getting it pretty strongly. And it doesn't have to be everybody's story. It really doesn't. But when I say when I when I get things, I gotta say it. All right, let's see. You got citrine. This is all about abundance. So good look good things are coming to you Scorpio they really are you just you just got to choose I think I think you just got to choose your path um, if somebody's cheating and you do know about it and that maybe that's what you're holding on to let it go let it go you're gonna find happiness Scorpio you're gonna you're gonna be happy you really really are whether you have a choice between two, somebody else has a choice between two, um, or whether it's like choosing to stay or walk away, what, whatever your choice is, you you got to put something down. You got to you got to cut the cord here. You, you you're carrying too much of a burden. It's not. It's going to get too heavy for you eventually, and it's going to cause some issues. So, just make a decision already. Choose your path. And I strongly recommend following your heart. Because you're going to get a wish come true. Uh, but things need to be balanced. Things need to be in balance. Um, you got regeneration here. When the limb was cut off, it's, it's starting to grow back now. So you have that ability to regenerate. Why do I feel like you want to regenerate love? I don't know. Scorpio, this is, I'm like all kinds of confused in this reading. But it's kind of clear, but it's kind of messy. Somebody's playing games. I don't know if it's you or your person, but somebody's definitely playing a game here. But it's, and it's time for a change. Make the change because you know what? You want to move forward and you don't want to be stuck. And you don't, certainly don't want the universe to make a decision for you. So you got two months here. You got May and January. So now, between now and January, something needs to happen or something's going to happen. All right, Scorpio. Now that's what I got for you. I, you know, I hope everything's okay, but give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.